ESO Frankie is a civil engineering and construction group specializing in geotechnical services and pipelines. ESO Frankie listed on the JAC in 2006 and acquired Frankie shortly afterwards. It has a market cap of 518 million rand, a price to earnings ratio of 21 but pays no dividends. So Paul, I said ESO and then Frankie. So what started first here? Well, both of them existed in the past. They were the two major players in the uh, lateral support and uh, you know digging holes before the buildings go in. And they then merged because Frankie had left the country and the bank owned them. I think again, Investec, Esau was then a competitor. They put the two businesses together. They've subsequently bought a few other things like Shearwater and Petula and so on. Also, unfortunately, were one of the high flyers of that 2007, 8, 9 listings boom of construction companies got to nine rand a share, fell down where they are currently below two. They did have a fairly significant rights issue where Sunlum and other people put more cash in. And they are at least at the sort of specialist end of the building uh, cycle. So they're not the guys that put in the carpets and no one wants to pay them. They're the guys that operate initially and therefore they've got a better chance of being on a better footing. Mm -hmm. Business in Africa, stuff going on. So nice management team, a lot to like, bum sector. Yeah, so it will never, will it ever return to the levels that we saw a few years ago when they were quite active? Well, I mean, I don't know if it'll get back to those levels, but certainly the one thing with Esau Frankie, why we keep an eye on it is with most of the work that they do is the first part of a construction contract. So you're building a new building, you first do the foundations, and that's where Esau Frankie gets involved. And we've seen that their revenues have been picking up quite a bit. So it's certainly a sign that there is some life in the construction sector. So, I mean, from that perspective, very interesting to keep watching. Obviously, they've been involved in and out of court with a couple of cases, judges accusing them of uh, fraudulent or corrupt activities, I think it is, which isn't great. And it's certainly, it's, it potentially puts a question mark around management. And the second part is, you know that management isn't spending all their time focused on their business. They're also spending some time in court. <laughs> hot and hot in this one. Oh, Paul, I'm not going to ask yeah. you. You're definitely not hot. <laughs> <laughs> It, it might recover well, but not, not hot. I think there's just too much risk at this point.